you let them play in something like this? No. A uh, Southwest Florida mom fed up. She came home after a long shift at work to a fallen tree on top of her home. She says it damaged not only her roof, but her pool screen too. And in the weeks leading up to it, she says she called the city and the company that manages a lot uh, near her for weeks, complaining that this tree was overgrown. Four in your corner is Michael Cadigan taking her concerns right to City Hall. Michael? Patrick and Amy, overgrown brush, broken tree limbs, and garbage. That's what a Cape Coral woman says she sees every single day. But when Wednesday's storms knocked a tree on top of her own home, she turned a four in your corner for some help. At first glance, you might expect to find this amount of brush in the Florida Everglades, not next to someone's Cape Coral home. It's a danger and a hazard to other homeowners. Jennifer Everett says she called the city of Cape Coral for weeks trying to get to the root of the overgrowth problem in the lot right next to her house. I've reached out to Mo, Larry and Curly and nobody wants to help me. I need help. That's all. The city telling her the lot is privately owned, leaving it up to Jennifer to find the owner. She eventually got in touch with the managing company for the lot, but she says she was brushed away. That was shoved away very rudely, um, did not want to speak to me. The problems grew even worse for Jennifer. A tree from the lot crashed onto her home after yesterday's wave of storms. I just recently had my roof done and my pool cage rescreened. I don't want any more problems. But when Wednesday's storms knocked a tree onto her house, Jennifer turned to four in your corner for help. We call the management company too. When I asked for its side of the story, the agent told me, no thank you and hung up the phone. If it was my tree, obviously it's my problem. It does not belong to me. It's not registered in my name. It needs to be the person that it's registered to. I reached out to the city of Cape Coral for comment and council member John Cariosha responded. He told me that all lots in Cape Coral, whether they are public or private, have to follow the obnoxious overgrowth code laws that are in place. He says these are the steps people should follow. You just call the Citizens Action Line. Live in the studio, Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thanks, Michael. And remember, if you ever have a problem that you want Michael or any of our investigators to look into for you, just give us a call, 206-FOX-4, or you can email us, news at fox4now.com.